They are back, and so are we. Hi, I'm Lola, personal trainer and nutrition coach on a mission to shape a better you together. And today we are reacting to some posts from fat acceptance and healthy at every size movements. <laughs> Let's best it. Diet culture sold you a lie that if you wear less, you will be happier and healthier. You will weigh more. Are you happier and healthier though? Most people these days for health at every size, H-A-E-S, come from misunderstanding. I genuinely believe that less people will hate on health at every size if they took the time to understand it. Per the Association for Size Diversity and Health, the five principles are weight inclusivity, health enhancement, respectful care, eating for well-being, life enhancing movement. And if you're being honest with yourself, what is there to dislike about this framework? It sounds like ethical care all should be practicing to me. Except that this is not what is happening though. You're not weight inclusive. You exclude small fat because they're not fat enough for you. You're against health enhancement by pushing the narrative that obesity is healthy. You're against respectful care as you disrespect your own body by letting it get as large as it can possibly get. You're against eating for well-being as you don't stop eating until you get dangerously uncomfortable. You're against life enhancing movement as you literally loathe any type of movement that does not involve your hand moving food to your mouth. So ask me again, what's there to dislike? Dieting isn't just problematic because it makes you miserable. It's also problematic because how the hell are you supposed to treat someone with dignity and respect if you're torturing yourself so that you don't wake up one day looking like them, if they look like your greatest fear. Are you saying that by refusing to end up with cirrhosis and therefore being more responsible with alcohol, I have no respect and dignity for alcoholics? <laughs> Honey. Alcoholics with cirrhosis wouldn't want me to mess with alcohol either so that I wouldn't end up like them. I don't want to live with diabetes. I don't want to not be able to move around or hurt whenever I do. I don't want to die of heart attack in my 40s or even younger. I definitely don't want to be missing any limb or any toes because of a condition that I could have avoided and I just refused to. So no, your point here is invalid. You want me to be obese so that you will feel better about yourself. Uh-uh, not today, Satan. Things that are diets. Diets totally suck. I just believe in everything in moderation, you know. You can call it moderation, but restriction is restriction is restriction is restriction is a diet. No, that's just common sense. Most days I only eat dinner and yet I still can't lose weight like crying emoji. Well, what is your dinner made of? Because even if you eat just one meal per day, which I would seriously not recommend, but if you do and say you need 
2000 calories every day, but your dinner is made of 2500 calories, then no, you won't be losing any weight. Also, all that snacking and juices and or beers that you have during the day, do you include them too? Because those do count and they add up really fast. Hey guys, has anyone tried hypnosis to help them lose weight? If so, what was your experiences? Do you think you could start putting a trigger warning for weight loss in your post? A lot of them seem to be centered around losing weight and while I understand this is really important to you right now, a lot of the conversation centering around weight loss can be triggering for others and fat phobic in nature. Wait, are we addressing this? Because we did in season 2. Like, are we? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Come, come closer, there, I got your attention now, so hear me well. If you don't like what people post, then don't look at it. You can block the post or the people, you can unfollow them if you don't want to block them, but don't try to police what they post on their profile. They have the right to do what they please on their profile just as you do on your own profile and if you get triggered by anything they do why are you still following them or what they do get off their pages you got that okay okay now go <laughs> when you say i need to lose weight to not feel pain fit in my clothes to move easier for health. I hear you say, I need to lose weight to avoid discomfort, to avoid change, to avoid loss, to please my doctor, family, etc. What? Okay, first of all, I'm responsible for what I say, not what you hear. Stop making weight loss a behavior. I know this is a hard pill to swallow. I know we've been taught that our body size is in our control. Of course it is. But empirical research of weight science does not provide that intentional weight loss can be sustained long term for 95% of us. Show me the scientific source of this claim. So when clients tell me So wait, you're a health professional? That they need to lose weight, I encourage them to dig deeper. What does weight loss promise them? A healthier lifestyle, maybe? As I shared the other day, believing weight loss to be the miracle solution to your problems is scapegoating your body. Believing food to be the miracle solution to your problems is scapegoating your body. If we approach our current discomfort or pain with curiosity, we take away the shame or personal thought and allow ourselves to actually identify and meet our body's needs. Stop right there. I'm not a masochist. Therefore, I refuse to be in pain. I refuse to be obese. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and see you soon.